Hello everyone, my name is Chris Wilkie. I'd like to welcome you to the Park Hall video walkthrough. Today we're going to be walking through all of Park, including the amenities, some rooms, common spaces. We're actually in the lobby right now, so just uh, another thing, this is a live Q&A. So my student, Jessica, is right there, you can see her hand waving. Uh, she's actually going to be reading questions live, so if you have questions about Park or anything in general related to living here, please feel free to type them in. She'll read them live to me as we get time here. So we're currently in the lobby, and um, closest dining facility is Woodworth. It's just outside here, so you're free to close. But here's the lobby area. We've got this wonderful person at the front desk. We've been chatting with her for a while. But the front desk is the place you can come and get, you can check out equipment. So say you need a vacuum or a broom, or you want to uh, rent some pool cues or pool balls. Say you want to play ping pong. You can check out that stuff here. Also pots, pans, anything else that you would need to kind of be in the halls. So um, in order to get to the area where you live, you have to have your Ball State ID. So all you have to do is touch the proximity sensor with the ID. You hear the click and look, you're in the resident hall. So the way our hall is set up is we have, I think, four floors within the building. We're gonna show you the first floor lobby. We're actually gonna go up, my student Jessica is living here next year, so we're actually gonna show you her room for the year. But we're going to show you that, the laundry facility, fitness facility, and a few other places here. So you have the steps here. And then we got a two-story lounge that we'll start off by showing you. So here is the two-story lounge. You have um, chairs, couch, TV, bar stools, along with an up and off um, in that area that you can use. So it's a nice little area. We have smaller lounges throughout the hall, but this is kind of your big main open lounge here. So that's that, and I'm gonna head up there with Jessica and we'll catch the elevator to show you this room. So this is what your lounge looks like. So now you have rooms throughout. There is an elevator that goes to all the floors. So if you do, when you move in, you're able to three. Just one button. There we go. So now Park Hall's been here for a while. I think it opened in 2009. So it's been here for quite some time. Actually, I think it was before 2009. So you see we have the lounge again. They look. Pretty identical, actually, exactly. So here's a kitchen. Let's show you what that looks like. Come on, light. Yeah. Mo fridge, fan. Hand sanitizer throughout. Again, you have your two. And you even have a fireplace. So that's a nice little. There's a trash room. So you just simply dump your trash in. You can see there's brooms and dustpans in here if you need to sweep your floor. There are bags provided as well so you can switch out your um, trash bags for new ones. You don't need to bring your own. Here is a park hall room. So we will showcase everything in here. We'll start with the closet. So currently in the closet, we'll have your um, dresser units in here. These can be moved. They are on wheels. Top door does lock. Let me get you some measurements on this real quick. 23 and a half by 29 and a half. 30 inches tall. There are three drawers. The drawers are about five inches deep. You can see where those are at there. Shelving units. This one is 44 inches by 17 and a half. And this one is 57 inches by 17. 
you have your mounts here. Height is 61 and a half inches. Size of the closet, in case you're curious. Seventy six, by sixty three. Now, please note that not all rooms are designed exactly the same. So, within Park Hall, the way it is built, there's a little bit of differences throughout each of the rooms. So, do not be surprised if you see a slightly different arrangement of the closet or the size of the room. They're not much different, but there may be a little bit different features here and there. So it looks like in this we have shelving with cubbies. It's going to be 30 and a half inches tall. The cubbies are roughly seven and a half inches deep. 23 and a half by 23 and a half. It is a nice, perfect square. So you have that. You have a desk. These chairs do come apart, like we've shown you before. So you have like a little bar stool along with a, root or a rocking chair type thing, dresser, desk with a drawer, pull out for writing, again it's 23 and a half, this one is also 29 and a half, an additional locking door on this, and one that has two, or a shelf, two areas in there. Again, this is going to be 23 and a half by 23 and a half. So this whole unit together is 77 inches across. Okay? So that's if you want to put that there. Now, if you look at a bed, the question I know I'll get is can you fit this all under the bed? So we said 77 inches. This is 79 and a half. So these three items will fit under the bed. So you can fit all of those there. Now you can see this is loftable furniture. So you can actually move this from the like way down here to all the way up top. So this in height itself is 60 inches tall. You can put your loft bed approximately 50 inches off the ground. You do have a bulletin board on both of these sides. These are movable. So I can simply lift this up, put it down lower. A lot of students like to hang them like this underneath their beds. So you can move that around like that. The bed has a firm side and a plush side. They lift up. They are labeled on the back end, I believe. Um, and then you're able to, um, these are twin extra large. So when you get sheets and comforters, that's the size you're going to look for. So you have two of the beds, thermostat. On and off, you have a low, medium, and high, and you have cool and warm. So that's your adjustment on the thermostat. The window, let me grab this real quick. It's going to be bright. So window has two openable things. So you just pop that. You can turn it like this. Close it. Lock it. Window seal is... If I can use a tape measure, 70 inches long, 10 inches deep. It sits roughly 34 and a half inches high. We've already measured this with the other one. You have a trash can. Now let's measure the floor so you can know if you want to bring an area rug, what size we're looking for there. It is roughly 13 feet from the wall to the front edge of this desk, and roughly 15 to that end. Let's measure from side to side here. We'll need to find the outlets as well. Eleven and a half feet. Now, I did mention, we can come here real quick, plush firm on this side. 
And on this side is extra firm. So you just simply flip the bed that way. Now let's find your outlets real quick. Set of outlets there. No outlets there. Four prong outlet on that side along with an ethernet port. Same on this side as well. So four prong with an ethernet port there. And then two on this back wall back here. Ceiling height is really high. <laughs> I mean, let's get you this much. This is seven feet, so it's about a nine foot ceiling. What questions do we have about this area? If you want to go deep this way, roughly 38 and a half. From post to post is 38 and a half. What questions do we have about the room in general? None so far. Okay. Let's go show you what a bathroom looks like. So bathroom is shared by eight people. There are eight cubby holes. The cubby holes themselves are lockable. So you can bring a combination lock or a padlock there. Size is roughly 12 inches by 12 inches by 17 inches. They open upward. There are trash cans, toilet paper, a meter, plugs, outlets, along with hand soap, two sinks, then you have the bathroom units themselves. You have a toilet, and then you have shower hooks in there, along with the shower. And there are two of these pods. This will be considered a semi-private setup. So if you see this other side here, it looks very, it's actually identical, but students can use either of these at any time. So we'll go this way. Now it's time for us to show you um, let's go to a lounge back right this way. Do we have any other questions at this point in time? We do not. Okay. You guys are very quiet on this video. We've had a lot of questions this week. So this is what's on this end of the hallway. It goes back to a lounge in the corner. We'll show you guys what that looks like. These are not locked during the school year. They get unlocked. Here's a lounge, plenty of outlets. Time to hey, lose people as we walk down the stairs, but we're going to give it a whirl, so you have to go find the laundry rooms. So now Park Hall has two different wings. So we are currently in one of them. You'll wrap around when you hit the other one. You have custodians here. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? Oh, doing great. Your bathrooms are on a cleaning schedule here. So they will clean up each week. Usually that is posted within the bathroom so you know what time to make sure you schedule your As we're showing the walkthrough, because there's two different. See all of it.
I think we go to this one. That's where I used Do we have any questions? No, we do not. Here's your laundry room. Lights will turn on. So you need to use Cardinal Cash. So what you could do is you could load Cardinal Cash onto your card, swipe it, put it in your unit. It's $1.50 per wash, $1.25 per dry. So this is looks like we have 60 and equivalent of six, 11 washers. Hello, everyone. Hello. Two areas here. We get some lights. So you can see that we got two treadmills, moonwalker machine, two bikes, some lifting equipment, some more lifting equipment, three ellipticals. And then we have yoga mats, exercise ball, scales, some more lifting. main lobby and we're going to go and we're going to check out the computer lab along with some common spaces. Lots of walking today. Mailboxes are located right here. Every student will get a combination and you will be able to check your mail. If you have a package that is too large for the box, they will check it in and then they will shoot you an email for that. Pick it up. Hall director offices, public restroom area here if you need to use the restroom. Hall director's office. Vending machines. Game room area. Two pool tables, a foosball table, and a ping pong table, along with the TV. Got an upright piano, along with the keyboard, a Mac with computer or music editing software on there. 
Computer lab. So you can see we got three, four, five, six Macs, one, two, three, four, five, six PCs, printers, two scanners located in this room, and students can use this area. Then the last few areas I'm going to show you um, conference room there. Then we have the big multi purpose room. multi-purpose rooms on campus. So you can see we have all student artwork within the room. There's a projector and a screen that will come down along with a large patio area. So this is the time. If there's any additional questions, I'd be happy to answer those. But we've now walked through all of Park Hall and I hope you guys have seen what we have to offer here within this residence hall. Do we have any additional questions? Well, it was great to walk around with you guys. Again, my name is Chris Wilkie. If you have additional questions, please feel free to post them at any time. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. And we look forward to seeing you guys move in starting on August 15th for those students who have the premium plan.